Hey, Boz. Pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the progress that we're seeing across the ecosystem. One in three apps in the Quest Store are making revenues in the millions. We're going to keep pushing to make the next computing platform more open. We believe that over time, social experiences would become the main way that people would use VR. Today, the majority of time spent is in multiplayer apps. And today, we're announcing a multi-year collaboration to bring NBC Universal's iconic content to life through experiences in the metaverse. Meta and NBCU will co-create experiences around The Office, Universal Monsters, DreamWorks, Blumhouse, Halloween Horror Nights, and so much more. The metaverse should be accessible across all kinds of screens and devices. That's why we're developing Horizon Worlds on the web, so that you can access it from a computer or any mobile device. You can send the link to your friends and they can join without a headset, no matter where they are. We're now testing a way for you to take a video in Horizon Worlds and easily share it straight to Instagram as a reel. We're expanding the creative toolkit beyond VR too. You'll be able to use TypeScript, a powerful scripting language to make more dynamic and interactive worlds. You'll be able to import tri-mesh items into Horizon Worlds. We're working with Epic Games to bring Creative Commons licensed content from the Sketchfab library to Horizon Worlds. And one thing we're thinking about a lot is your home in the metaverse. This is just as important to think about the personal spaces that are yours. Nobody should enter without your permission. You're in control of who stays and leaves, and what's said in these spaces is personal. At the other end of the spectrum, you have probably the most established part of the ecosystem, gaming. How about we start with a trailer from the latest team to join Oculus Studios. Marvel's Iron Man VR has been one of those dream projects for us. We could not be more excited to bring the game to MetaQuest 2 this November. Next is Population One, the debut of Population One Sandbox, a robust, user-generated map creator. You can take the action anywhere, limited only by your imagination. You know you've been waiting for an Among Us VR release date. Inner Sloth, Robot Teddy, and Shell Games will release Among Us VR on November 10th. Pre-orders open today. Let's take a look at Skydance Interactive's Chapter 2, Retribution. Wherever the tourist goes, death ain't far behind. New faces, places, weapons, gear, and loot await you as you head towards a final showdown that will decide the fate of New Orleans. Our friends at Skydance have also been working on something new. Users globally return to Quest 2 for fitness every month. At the end of this month, Supernatural is launching knee strikes to better activate your core and work your lower body. Gym class is coming to the Quest store later this fall. Let's do this. Later this month, we're releasing the Meta Quest 2 Active Pack in the Meta Store on October 25th. This is our fitness accessory bundle with a wipeable facial interface, wrist straps, and adjustable knuckle straps to provide the perfect combination of comfort and control. So this fall, we're releasing the Fitness API Beta for select developers. It lets people share real-time fitness data and unlock things like custom stats or new levels based on the progress that they're making. Yeah, good luck with that. Work is really the next major category of experiences that we want to unlock to bring VR to the next level. Starting early next year, you're going to be able to join workrooms through Zoom, too. Uh, we're also introducing breakout groups, so your team can shift from a big group presentation into smaller discussions in the same room. And with sticky notes for whiteboarding, you're going to be able to have group discussions and brainstorm in ways that you just can't do on video alone. We're also working on a new feature to import and review 3D models in a workroom which is going to be really helpful for design and architecture and all kinds of other creative work. And that's why we're launching your personal office and workrooms today. So you have instant access to your perfect workspace that's set up just how you want. So you might only have a 13-inch laptop in your physical space, but in your virtual office, you can line up three huge monitors. This is great at home or at work, and even better when you're traveling. The way people can collaborate in workrooms shows that there's an opportunity for a VR headset designed from the ground up to be great for work as well as playing games and hanging out. We've taken everything we've learned from Quest 2 and designed an all-new headset 
to do just that. This is MetaQuest Pro. All right, you finally get to show everyone what was in that briefcase at last year's Connect. Finally, we have completely reimagined the VR headset as a powerful device for productivity, creative work, and multitasking. Quest Pro is our sleekest form factor yet, with a super thin set of lenses at the front and our first ever curved cell battery at the back to give it a perfect balance. So our new headset design with this open periphery lets you see the physical room you're in. But you can also use Quest Pro's magnetic light blockers for a more immersive experience. The new pancake lenses work by folding light over several times and let us make the display 40% thinner compared to Quest 2. The new lenses aren't just thinner. They also put more pixels in the center, giving you sharper, clearer visuals, which makes reading text a whole lot easier. Yeah, and the LCD displays have 37% more pixels per inch than Quest 2. And thanks to our new local dimming technology, 75% more contrast with richer and more vibrant colors that just make VR even more engaging. This is also our first device to use the new Snapdragon XR2 Plus processor that we worked on with Qualcomm. It's optimized for VR, so Quest Pro runs at 50% more power with better thermal dissipation, which gets a significantly better performance. The controllers are now basically their own computers, which is a bit ridiculous. Uh, we've re-engineered them to track themselves and also work a bit more like extensions of your hands. The new sensors track their positioning in 3D space all on their own without using the headset, so you can get a full 360-degree range of motion. And they include our new TrueTouch haptics, which give a wider and more precise range of feedback effects. They also feel a lot more balanced and natural in your hands without that LED ring. You can even add a stylus tip on the controllers, turning them into tools for writing or sketching. You can try this on the whiteboard in workrooms, or you just flip them around and write directly against your own physical desk. We're including an all-new charging dock that fits great on your workspace and keeps both the headset and controllers charged at the same time. We built Mixed Reality into our SDKs for Quest 2 to make it easy for developers to start experimenting. Quest Pro uses high-resolution cameras that capture four times as many pixels as Quest 2, and an additional RGB camera to turn pass-through into full color, along with a depth system made to understand your environment and work with it. Another big part of Quest Pro is how much more expressive you can be. You can see here how people's avatars reflect their expressions and reactions. It's powered by our Movement SDK, our newest addition to Presence platform. I'm really hungry. We're building a better way using everything Quest Pro brings to the table, and we call it Magic Room. It lets you meet in mixed reality and share the same right. space. You can use a whiteboard, bring in 3D objects. Everyone is present and has the same tools, whether they're in full VR or in mixed reality. We think that this will help hybrid teams collaborate, and we're hoping to ship this next year. We're really excited to get this into your hands, and it's available for pre-order starting today for $14.99, and it ships on October 25th. And we're not the only ones who are optimistic about the future of work in the metaverse. Autodesk is updating their collaborative design review app. And Adobe is also working to help people get more done in VR. Next year, they'll begin releasing a suite of apps for professional 3D creators, designers, and artists, from collaborative design reviews to Substance 3D Modeler using Quest Pro's controllers. And there's one more partnership that I want to highlight today that I think is going to be really important to the future of the metaverse. I'm here with Microsoft's chairman and CEO, Satya Nadella. Hi, Satya. Hi, Mark. We're incredibly excited about the metaverse. That's why we are bringing Microsoft Teams immersive meeting experience to MetaQuest. Uh, you can connect, share, collaborate as though you were together in person. Uh, just think about how powerful whiteboarding or brainstorming or even Teams meetups uh, can be in this space. We're working on enabling Horizon workrooms for Teams. 
So people will be able to join a Teams meeting directly from workrooms. With Microsoft 365 uh, coming to Quest, you'll be able to interact with sort of content from all your favorite productivity apps, right? Whether it's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. Uh, and with Windows 365 coming to Quest, you'll have a new way to securely stream the entire Windows experience, uh, including all the personalized apps, content settings to your VR device uh, with the full power of Windows and Windows applications. Uh, Azure Active Directory and Microsoft Intune in combination will support uh, MetaQuest and MetaQuest Pro. Uh, this means companies that want to provision these devices can be confident that all security and management options uh, they expect from PCs and mobile devices will carry over to VR. I'm really excited about gaming. Uh, and with xCloud Gaming, you can stream hundreds of games to any device, allowing you to connect with gamers in all new ways, whether they're right next to you or sitting on the other side of the world. Next year, we'll launch Quest for Business, which is currently in beta. It's a subscription bundle for Quest 2 and now Quest Pro that includes a suite of features like work accounts, device and application management, premium support, and more. And now imagine what it'll be like when you can turn wherever you are into a Beat Saber arena. Starting today, we're giving creators the ability to build interactive 3D objects in Spark Studio and begin testing them in mixed reality with the Spark player. This is a preview of our next generation of avatars, but I'm excited to start rolling these out later next year on phones, VR headsets, and more. We're working on bringing them more to life through animation and to more places like, for example, Reels. Starting with Messenger and WhatsApp, if you want, you'll be able to show up as an avatar. Yeah, I think avatars and video chat are gonna be like this third mode between video on and video off. And in virtual reality, there's already head and hand positions, so your avatar moves and sounds like you. And now we want to bring that to phones and computers, too, using cameras and microphones. So if you wink at your phone, your avatar on your phone should wink, too. Today, we're announcing a partnership with Zoom that will let you show up as your avatar on Zoom calls. The Meta Avatar SDK will soon support Unreal Engine and virtual reality, too. The Avatar Store is launching in VR later this year, so you'll be able to shop for virtual clothing in VR. You're going to start seeing a lot more of your favorite familiar brands. And later this year, keep a lookout in the Avatar Store for new Outfit releases from Netflix. We have some big improvements to representation coming too, with more options for body types, as well as shaders for more realistic skin. There's one more feature coming soon that's probably the most requested feature on our roadmap. Legs. And now we're getting ready to launch the first full-body avatars. We're going to bring legs to Horizon first. Soon we are launching the ability to call or text on Raven Story with your existing phone number, so you can stay connected and stay in the moment hands-free. We are also rolling out Spotify tab playback so you can listen to music on your glasses more easily. And if you want to hear something else, tap on hold again and Spotify will recommend something new. We have added more style, lens and color combination. Well, we are working together on a new set of glasses to build a portal to the metaverse. And we now have a working demo that lets you control an AR or VR device with motor neuron signals. Just the gentlest flick of my thumb to check my messages. Hey. Hi, Mark. I'm confident that the most powerful way to interact with the metaverse will be through personalized AI. AI will be able to understand your context and will use that to help you proactively. Combine that with electromyography technology and you have an intuitive, almost frictionless interface. By combining machine learning with neuroscience, this future interface will work with each user. Here, the algorithm is learning in real time how to respond to the EMG signals the person is sending with only the slightest of hand movements. I didn't set out to build glasses for my future self, but it does seem to be working out that way. One thing I know for sure is that avatars that are photorealistic representations of users would be the most powerful remote connection technology that has ever existed. Mark, do you want to show us the latest in Kodak faces? Now, we've made them a lot more expressive. Things like raising an eyebrow, squinting, uh, widening my eyes, or scrunching my nose. Now, these are awesome, but they also take a really long time to generate. So here's Autumn from our RL Labs team. She scans her face from different angles with a neutral expression for about 30 seconds. Hi guys, my 3D avatar is ready for use in my phone or VR. 
It may or may not end up in our products, but it's definitely a glimpse of where technology is headed. The products that we showed today are part of a roadmap that extends far into the future. This is an exciting time to be working on the metaverse. Thank you for being a part of this journey, and we'll see you again soon.